Okay, let's play the game and uh, talk about the motion that we have. Uh, we've got kind of choppy movement here. We've got left, right, up and down, so left, down. If I have them both pressed, normally as a gamer I'd expect to be able to go diagonally and I'm not getting that. So can we look at how we would implement that? Um, well, you... We're, we're getting that, aren't we, because we've uh, gone with uh, drag and drop, with start moving in a direction for each key press. Is that yes. right? Okay. So um, the start moving in a direction is specifying a speed. Isn't that right? Yeah. Okay. And is there a different technique that will get us um, better motion? Yes. Okay. First of all, um, we're going to delete that and... We're going to go to the control tab instead. And we're going to check if the place is free where we're going to move. So we want to move left, negative four. So in control, that check empty icon there that I see is checking to see if the space in front of where I'm moving has anything in it. Yes. And you can check if it's only solid objects or all objects. Okay. We're going to do only solid objects. Okay. And if that is true, then we're going to the Move tab and jump to the position that we specified earlier, negative 4. Okay, can you explain what X and Y and negative 4 is doing for us? X is horizontal axis and Y is vertical. Um, X is if you put a positive number in there, it will go right. Okay. If you put a positive number, positive number in Y, it will go down. So negative is left and up. So in other words, now what we're saying is if I press this key, we're going to check to see is there anything in that direction, and if there isn't, we're going to move this many pixels. Yeah. Okay, instead of setting a speed. Yeah. Which is what the other thing does, and that becomes important later. Fine. Yeah. Um, we're just going to copy these, make it easier. And this is the up event, so we're going to set that to zero, and this to negative four, because it's the Y. And same thing for right. Right, we're going to be changing the x-axis, but this time it's going to be 4 positive. Yeah. And down is going to be 4 here, 0, 0, 4. So it looks like we put the same values in the check and the jump to position because we want to check is it okay to move that far and then if it is okay to move that far, we're going to move that far. Yeah. Great. And since we're not using speed, uh, we really don't need these. The we no key event and the collision event. The collision event for the wall object. Yeah. Why don't we need the collision event for the wall object? Because this is only checking if it's holding it down. Okay. Um, and if it's not holding it down, it doesn't go there. And this checks if it's free. If the if, if there is no wall object there, then it does not do this. Okay. So the logic of uh, create, uh, making a collision event is handled by the fact that we're checking is the position free. Yeah. So we don't need to have the extra have a collision event if you hit the wall. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if that works. So I'm going to move our guy around. And yep, he stops at the wall and I get diagonal motion. So I'm going to hold down up and right and go diagonally and score. I'm going to go down 
and back up and I've got nice smooth motion now like I would expect I can sort of move around like this nice and smooth 